Legend, Limitless Range, plus Deep Bomber Takeover is insane on NBA 2K25, y'all. Look at these clips. Day one, man. If you guys want this build, this build, I posted it already, man. It's my 5'9 meta PG, y'all. This build is insane. This build is game-breaking. Look, especially my center, he has the takeover called Break Igniter, which helps him throw fast breaks, y'all. The takeovers this year... We're going to get into it in this video, man. But the takeovers this year are pretty insane. This Deep Bomber is definitely my favorite so far. Deep Bomber plus the Legend Limitless Range, y'all. It lets you shoot crazy shots. This lets you hit insane shots, man. This build is insane. This takeover is insane. Look, just catch and shoot. I don't care if it's contested or not. You feel me? But look, the verse of the video, this comes from Psalm 91. It says, I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Man, make sure that you guys rely on God. Make sure that you trust on God because that's the number one most important thing. God will deliver you from anything. He'll rescue you from anything, y'all. So make sure that you rely on God as your refuge and as your fortress, man. But look, we're going to get right into the video, man. As you guys can see, I've been grinding. I've been grinding, man. This is my five foot nine, like I've been saying, man. You guys see I'm red plate, 96 overall. You feel me? I've been grinding, okay? I've been grinding, man. We're going to be grinding on stream later on. You guys see, here's the full build for those of y'all that, that wanted to see it, man. 95 ball handle, 94 speed with ball. Gets me all the dribbling, okay? But really, 97 three-point. 97 three-point is what unlocks this build. As soon as I get my cap breakers, I'm going to go 99 three-point. But really, this 97 tray ball is what opens up this whole build. Being able to shoot like this. And I can still dunk, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy. And I got defense, y'all. You guys are going to see clips of defense in this video. Um, I have two gameplays for y'all. So I have one game, the very first game, I unlocked Deep Bomber Takeover. And I have the very second game, y'all. But now that I'm a 96, I've upgraded my defense, y'all. But I've been playing defense with a 25 defense, y'all. Until I was like a 95 was when I started putting up defense. I upgraded everything before I put up defense, y'all. I'm telling you, you do not need defense in this game, man. You do not need defense in this game. Here's my animations, man, for those of y'all real quick. I know a lot of y'all want a dribble tutorial, so I can give you guys um, like a dribble tutorial. I can give you guys some animations real, real quick, man. As you guys can see, if I go down to my badges right here, lightning launch, I do have limitless range on legend, okay? Limitless range on legend. This build is insane. This badge is insane, you guys. Limitless range on legend. I'm going to tell you this. I, as you guys can see, I have it on Hall of Fame right now, but it wasn't until I got this Max Plus One that I put it on Legend. I'm telling you, I can feel the difference between Legend and Hall of Fame, okay? I don't know if it's like a crazy difference, okay, but it's noticeable. I'm not going to say it's, it's over here like the biggest boost from Legend to Hall of Fame or from Hoff to Legend, but I would tell you as somebody with the 97 three ball, I could feel it when I had Legend versus when I had Hoff, okay? So... Do with that what you will, man. Legend Limitless Range. I'm going to show you guys the takeover real quick. As you guys can see, I run Sniper Takeover. Okay, it boosts my three-point. This the one, I'm not going to lie. I put this on at the beginning of the year, and I just ain't took it off since, man. It maxes out your three-point. I have a 97, and I get a plus 10 to my three-point. So people think that you can't go over 99. I'm telling you, you can go over 99 every single year, y'all. When I'm in Takeover Lit Up, I have a 107. Three point. Once I get my cap breakers, I'm gonna have a 109 three point. But really, it's about that ability, that deep bomber ability. That's what really takes this build to the next level. But like I said, man, I got two gameplays for you guys. I got the first gameplay where I unlocked deep bomber, and I have the second gameplay. I think I dropped like 70 points or something like that, y'all. So make sure you guys stay tuned, watch the whole video, man. Like, subscribe, and let's get right to the gameplay. So for the first video. Or for the first gameplay, I've got two rec games. This was my very first game ever with the Deep Bomber Takeover. Okay, so I'm going to explain a little bit about what I've learned so far about Takeover in the couple games that I've had it, y'all. It literally is like day three or day four of the game, y'all. So we really don't know too much about it yet. But the way that Takeover works this year, y'all, it's not like previous years where you build up your Takeover and then you get to decide when to pop it. Okay, this year it actually moves more like a, a real life scale where you get takeover badge when you're actually taking over in game. 
And so first you have to unlock level five on any takeover to actually unlock the ability. Okay, so like I showed you guys in the intro, I run the takeover called Sniper. And what that does is it boosts my three point plus 10 and it gives me deep bomber takeover ability to where I'm able to shoot from crazy deep limitless range, y'all. So in order to unlock takeover, you have to first get it in a game. I think it's like 25 games total. So you have to get takeover in 25 games first, and then you'll be able to unlock level five. And so you only get your takeover ability when you're in level five. Okay, so if you look at the top right of my screen right now, you guys can see I'm at level three, almost at level four on my takeover. So right now I have the attribute boost. Okay, so I have a higher three-pointer, but I don't get the ability until I'm all the way maxed out. Okay, and once you do have the ability, it can fluctuate. Okay, so it kind of goes away on its own. It'll come back on its own. Like, it's kind of weird, kind of fluky. Like, I remember one time I had takeover, and literally I caught the ball, and it went away. Like, just because I caught the ball, I lost takeover. So sometimes it's a little fluky. But for the most part, if you're hitting shots, if you're not throwing turnovers, if you're just making the right play, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, you'll be able to get takeover if you just hoop the right way, okay? Um, but I definitely enjoyed this deep bomber takeover. I'm excited to test out the ankle-breaking one, too, that shifty shooter, or, or what's it called, silky shooter. I'm excited to test that takeover out as well and see what the ankle-breaking shots takeover is looking like. But you guys can see, man, hit him with a little crab. Me and this other guy, we, were, we and him were pretty much going back and forth this whole game. But as you can see, my boy KJ, bro. Shout out my boy KJ. He has a 7-3 center with a 98 pass accuracy, y'all. So a lot of these shots, man, it only comes off the break, man. If you guys just pay attention to the passes that he throws me, y'all, just pay attention. Like, he literally throws full court passes and they be on the money, like right in my shooting pocket, man. I'm telling you guys, if you have a center, High pass act is crucial this year, y'all. For centers, that gold break starter, it doesn't quite cut it anymore. You need Hall of Fame at least. But really, y'all, legend break starter is really where you feel the difference. But look, come up the court, quick stop at the rec logo, pull up. I'm telling y'all, this takeover is nice. This limitless range, deep bomber, it's pretty nice. Once you get a hang of it, y'all, it's taking a minute for everybody to really understand shooting and for everybody to find their timing, y'all. But once you really get your timing down and, and know your release cue, shooting feels really easy in this game. I know I have a high three ball, so I'm saying that, but shooting feels really easy in this game, y'all. It, it really feels like 24 to me, except it's like less contests in 25. Like in 25, not many shots are actually contested. Okay, but even if it does get contested, it's just like 24, y'all. I'm still hitting reds. I'm still hitting yellow contests, man. I like the shooting, but you guys can see, man, dropped 51, 8, and 6. I didn't include that much defense in game 1, but I got some defensive clips next game for y'all. But look, here's another verse, man. Proverbs 13, um, chat, or Proverbs 13, verse 20. Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm, man. That's why it's so important, y'all. Be careful who you keep company. Like, be careful who you got around you, man, in life. Because, like I said, being around wise people will make you wise, but bringing around bad people will bring you down, man. So that's why it's so important, y'all, to be in the company of God, y'all. Be in the company of Jesus Christ. Because if it matters what company you keep, it can't possibly get better than God himself. You know what I'm saying? But look, I'm cooking up behind the screen. This is game two. I think I had like 77 or something crazy this game, man. So like the video, y'all. Nobody else is really doing this on a 5-9. A lot of people were scared to make 5-9s. They're scared to come out here and hoop on a small guard. I told y'all on day one, 5-9s were OP as I'm playing defense. You know what I'm saying? I rip it off the guard, go coast to coast for the dunk, man. 5-9s are OP. 5-9s are the meta. Especially if you have a build like this where you can start shooting from deep range. And I'm still throwing dots, man. Five nines are OP, but you have to actually be nice. You have to actually be good at 2K, man. I'm not going to lie. But five nine PGs are actually the wave this year. You said I get them with another little crab in the in the quarter, man. This build's just crazy. This build's crazy. And like I said, shout out my boy KJ. Look at these break starters, man. With that 98 pass act, it just helps out so much on the break, y'all. 
having a center that can throw the break like that, it helps out so much for me as a guard and does for everybody else on the whole team because he doesn't always hit me. You know what I'm saying? He can hit anybody. When the center can throw passes like this, it changes everything because, look, I'm just leaking out. I'm just leaking out. I'm not going to lie. This second game right here, I was cherry picking a lot this game. I was just leaking out a lot this game. But that's part of it. I mean, you got to do stuff like that if you want to score 77 points, y'all, in a game. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's only possible because of my teammates. If they're not throwing that, then I can't, um, then I can't shoot it. But I will say this. This second game right here, it was actually with randoms. I went in with my boy KJ and my boy Boogie, but it was two other randoms on the court. And the randoms were the randoms were hooping. The randoms were chilling. It's like quick stop from the logo again. I'm telling you guys, the shooting feels consistent. Once you find your timing, it feels very consistent. Look, just catch and shoot beyond the hash. Maybe he had a hand up. Maybe he didn't. It still sets open. So that's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. The game feels just like 24, man. Don't be scared to shoot. In this game, in 2K25, I'm telling y'all, you can literally shoot any type of shot. Literally any type of shot. And wait till we get heat check. Wait till we get our, our all of our badges and everything really maxed out, y'all. And I promise you, everybody's going to, unless they patch it. Maybe they'll patch it because they definitely need to patch lanes. But once everybody's build is maxed out, once all of our badges are maxed out, you guys, I promise you, people are going to be hitting crazy shots on this game. People are going to hit crazy shots on this game, y'all. Catch and shoot, fades. Um, contested, all types of stuff, y'all, full court. I'm telling y'all, unless the devs patch it, which maybe they will, but if they keep it like it is, there's going to be insane shots on this game. Look at this pass. Look at this pass from my center, full court, on the money. I caught it with the crab. I thought about passing to the left corner, but I had to get his assist off that because that was just such a crazy pass, man. That was such a crazy pass. But you guys see, I'm cooking up, man. This guard really can't guard me. This build is unguardable. I'm not going to lie. This build, this 5'9", is unguardable, especially me. I know how to do stuff on ball and off ball. You saw the little stuff like that. As a point guard, if you want to take your game to the next level, watch some Steph Curry. Like, that right there, that was an off ball cut. Like, learn how to play off ball because stuff like that really separates you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guards can come out here and dribble. A lot of people can hide behind the screen, you know what I'm saying? But as a guard, if you can do that, and when I pass the ball, I become even more dangerous, y'all. That's how you have high-scoring games. That's how you become really, really unguardable. Because there's there's certain times where I maybe pass up the ball, but I'm more dangerous without the ball. When you understand how to run around, how to dex, you know what I'm saying? Like it's really just it's really just IQ. But if you can master that as a guard, it'll take your game to the whole new level. And really, whatever position you are, man, because any position, any build can play off ball. It's just a matter of learning it. Like this right here, I pass to the center, and I keep running. I pass to the center, and I kept running. Watch this, y'all. Because I knew the point guard, you see how he relaxed? You see how he ran towards the ball? I knew he was going to leave me when I gave the ball up. It's little gems like that. I dropped that just for those of y'all that stayed all the way to the end of the video, man. It's little gems like that that'll take your game to the next level, especially off ball. So if you guys want a video like that, a tutorial, more gems like that, I could definitely give it to y'all. Look, you guys seen I almost had the 80 ball. I got to hit that shot, man. But look, like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, man. Uh, comment down below what you guys want to see next and have a blessed rest of your day. Peace.